this lecture uh, we'll be uh, just placing the windows and just go to the architectural tab and under the windows you can see a set of preloaded windows here but we are not interested in that right now we can just go into the load and under the windows you'll find this triple horizontal window i'll just opening it so actually it is uh, shorter in height we can actually load it and load it in our project and later on we can modify that so we have just uh, loaded in this window i'm just placing it here so now we can uh, just click on it and edit it and choose duplicate we can uh, choose it by maybe 60 inch by four and a half feet which is 54 inch okay just click okay now we have the that duplicated window so i'm just uh, choosing here width is okay so height is height is actually four and a half feet or 54 inch whatever you like okay click ok so it has changed uh, that uh, the desired type i'm just uh, again uh, continuing this uh, window so i'm just now here selecting that window 60 inch by 54 inch so replacing that here one here one here and one here now for the kitchen we can uh, just place this 60 by 28 inch and change its sill height to something four and a half feet because there will be a counter below that under actually a three feet and for the purpose of a uh, washroom and store we can just place a fixed window maybe 24 by 24 and actually we can change that sill height to five feet or higher than that so if i change this uh, cell height to five feet it's not visible because the cut plane is somewhere below that now uh, for the uh, purpose of uh, this tier we will not be placing the windows here because we will be designing that window using the curtain wall at the later stage so don't just worry about this now for the front i need to actually uh, place a classical window i am uh, in order to just uh, maybe get a good aesthetic for our project so i'll just load it from the uh, from my library if you just want to download that uh, uh, window i'll just be putting a description link in the description of this video you can download that from from my drive so let us just uh, load that window I'll choose the window and click on load family and under the desktop I have just placed this VIP classical window so I'm just importing that <coughs> so this is the window I'll just uh, placing it I'll be just placing it here so it will take a while so this is the window actually and if I just go into the 3d view we will be seeing our project in 3d actually the walls are going not from level one to the level two actually if we just go into the east elevation or any other elevation we can see here there are the level one and level two and the level two is at 10 feet and the level one is at zero feet so or we are just selecting all the walls or you can filter here and choose only the walls if you just select everything okay just zoom so if i just select everything and then we can filter the wall filter only the walls or the windows whatever category you like so i'm just choosing here walls and let me just constrain them to the level two right now so you can see here this window which we have just imported has a sill height of maybe we can keep it at a 2.5 feet yeah that looks better maybe two feet is enough okay so this is good and its size if we just go is that it is four feet so I'm not sure height is four feet but if we can just change the height to three and a half feet and not just sure whether it is a parametric or not maybe it may work yeah it works 3.5 feet is working three and a half feet is working so let us just keep it three and a half feet so this is our project in 3d so right now we have placed to the doors windows and everything now we just need to go further and if I am just choosing the level one, I will close everything, every other window. So we have now placed correctly the windows, doors, and walls, extra. Now uh, we will be placing the plinth wall. For that, you have to go into the east and create a level below the level one. So I'm just choosing here under the architectural tab level and pick up the level, maybe at a three feet below this level. So our plinth uh, will be three feet deep 
so let's call this level zero which is at an energy to three feet don't show this again click yes and so we have the level zero under the floor plan so under the floor plans we are just going to the level zero so close every window other than level zero so we have just uh, this level zero so we can just create a wall and let us just duplicate it and call it the plant plant wall which will be 15 inch wide so just click ok edit and click this 15 inch okay okay so from level 0 it will be going to the level 1 and just I'm just picking this center line so if I just click on the center line you can see the wall underneath so you have to pick each and every wall so I'm just choosing that okay there's some mistake just type control z okay everything else is working fine till now so you can uh, set on the plinth wall to your desired dimensions maybe in your area you might have a much wider plinth wall or you might not just have the plinth wall you can just skip this if you don't have that in your construction so control z I need to pick up this wall okay there is duplication so it's actually there so we are finished with uh, this split wall let me just go to the 3d and view whether it actually works or not yeah this is working so again I will go to the level 0 now we uh, will be placing the floor first so for that I need to go into the level 1 and uh, close everything else so I'm just closing this now under the underlay options you need to just click on reveal that uh, wall plinth wall and i'm just clicking on the main wall i'll just try to hide this hide these walls so filter i'm just choosing walls here so i think yeah those are selected hide elements not by category so i can hide the windows by category I can hide the windows by doors, hide the doors by category also. So we have just a uh, clean uh, uh, plan. Now we can just uh, go into the floor here under the architectural tab and we can just start tracing our floors currently. So for the purposes, I'm just using the rectangle. So in order to quickly, we can later modify our floors if we need. So now we can use the line to trace the uh, we can just pick up so again i'm just going to pick up the lines don't worry they are just overlapping don't worry about them you just need to pick up the correct lines which you need so let me just use the trim command tr or you can use here trim unjoin the elements okay Okay, maybe we can choose this okay this is good what about this so trim actually or you can use split sl is the shortcut command split this and then trim okay i can use the line here and then i can trim this so everything is fixed but the middle one except for the middle one actually we need to you can actually lock them but i don't want to lock them because it just creates a mess later on while you try to modify that so let me just quickly do this so it's here okay we are finished with floor just know that and this is the 12 inch floor so i'm just changing its maybe we can duplicate it and choose it to be a 4 inch flow again this is uh, not the thing we are just designing we need to just place the elements just model or this so here it will be overlapping let me just try to remove them yeah they were overlapping there were two lines so that was the exception okay again here they are overlapping here maybe this one is overlapping this one also no so this should be okay then okay attach don't attach 
so if i just go into the 3d maybe we can view that but in order to be sure just select it and click on this section box so under the section box what it does it uh, it tries to focus on a particular part it just cuts the uh, cuts the desired sections around that um, very object so if i just use this grip and pull it down and maybe we can pull it in so you can see here that this is the plant wall below and this is the floor and this is the wall above so yeah, actually uh, if i just go to the consistent colors you can see it maybe in a realistic you can see it in a better way to visualize this actually my pc is running slow so actually there are the doors and this is the floor and this is the wall above so this is the plant wall below so we are pretty done with uh, placing the floors so let me just close that and choose here the hidden so we have just added the floor we will stop here and we will see you in the next lecture of this series